Hi, my name's Mike Safri. I'm pastor of Church of the True Vine here in the beautiful North Somerset. And I'm here today to tell you very simply, God loves you. That may come as a shock to some of you watching this, but I'm here today to tell you God loves you. God does not want you to have a miserable time. God does not hate you. God does not despise you. God has not turned his back on you. God loves you. Many people think that because of the lifestyle they lead, that because of the things that they've done, that God would never have anything to do with them. But let me tell you something. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. The very next verse says that God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. Listen, God gave Jesus to save you from all of the things in your life that are dragging you down, all the things in your life that are holding you captive. He came to set you free from addiction to drugs or alcohol or sex or gambling or whatever it is that you're hung up on. Jesus came to die in your place, to take the punishment for all the things that you've done wrong so that you can have a brand new start, so that you can have new life in him. Jesus died the death that we deserve so that we don't have to. Now, that doesn't mean that physically we're not going to die unless Jesus returns before that day. What it means is that we will not die, we will not perish, we will not be separated from God forever by our sins. Listen, God wants to have a relationship with you. God created you to have a relationship with him. So come to him, come to Jesus. There is only one name under heaven given by God to man by which men must be saved. That's the name of Jesus. Why? Because it is only Jesus who died for you. It is only Jesus who gave himself for you. It is only Jesus who lived a perfect life and laid down his life in your place taking unjustly the punishment that was due to us but he took it upon himself so that God's justice against sin would be served and so that you can be restored into a relationship with God you can be reconciled with God because of what Jesus has done for you he took the punishment he took the shame he took it all so that you don't have to. So turn to Jesus today. Come to Jesus. Ask him to save you. He has not come to condemn you. He has not come to write you off. He has come that you might be saved. So turn to Jesus today. Bless you.